I'm at the okay, age too. I get to, <laughs> we get to chat and yes. update. Yes. And I get to interview you. You were in All the President's Men playing what part? Um, the name of my character was Sharon Lyons, and I was supposed to be working in Howard Hunt's office. Howard Hunt being kind of the operational commander of Watergate, right. the, uh, the crazed former CIA <laughs> agent. Um, and so, what was the scene that you were in? Well, the scene that I was in, it was interesting, as written by the, a wonderful screenwriter, William Goldman, I was actually very dry. It was, uh, it was me and the Carl Bernstein, Dustin Hoffman character, sitting on top of the Kennedy Center uh, at a table, and he was just asking me about Howard Hunt. But the script was so dry, it was, it was literally like, um, what was Howard Hunt like? He was a nice man. Oh, well, how did he treat, I, you know, it was just very stiff. And so Alan Pakula, who was such a wonderful, wonderful director, he was like, well, how can we, how can we spice this up a little bit? So Dustin Hoffman loves to improvise. And fortunately, I was comfortable with it too. This was my first film. So I was all, I was amazing. I could get a word out. I was you so, seemed so at ease. <laughs> and, okay, but go ahead. So I was what, gaga but, over what did Dustin, Dustin Hoffman. Say? Well, um, actually, Alan whispered in each of our ears, and we didn't know what he was saying to the other one. And to me, you know, he said, okay, well, I want you to, you know, act like you, you really know something about this character because a girlfriend of yours dated him maybe, and you're, you're going to say, hey, well, I know, you know, but she warned me about you, and, you know, just kind of make it a little flirty. And I don't, I don't know precisely what he said to Dustin, but uh, I don't know. We kind of got a flirty thing going and it was just hysterical. <laughs> and what was it though? Because describe it for, I remember it so vividly, but you describe it. Um, well, it ended up, you know, he wanted to know about Howard Hunt, but he was kind of, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I should really tell you. I, are you and he was like, no, oh, come on, I'm not going to take out my pad, you know, just, to, you know, and it was just kind of, and, and I ended up giving him information about how Howard Hunt was kind of uptight about uh, the Kennedys. And uh, yeah, it was, it was just kind of like he had a thing about the uh, paranoia or something about the Kennedys. But it was Ted Kennedy. But a, a, a real kind of core interest in the Kennedys, particularly Teddy Kennedy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which of course he investigated. That's right. one of the things that Hunt did for the White House. Right. Is they were supposedly investigating leaks. But the scene is uh, Dustin Hoffman doing a hundred percent Dustin Hoffman <laughs> flirt. Yes. If you will, seduction. Right. Uh huh. Right. Was he playing footsie with you under the yes, table? Yes, someone was. must have, he Physical. was. <laughs> he was, uh, and, and he reached his foot under the table and kicked off my shoe. Oh. And he kicked off his shoe and he was kind of rubbing my foot. And, and at some point during a, a cut, you know, he said to Alan Pakula, he said, hey, look at our subtext. <laughs> Alan, subtext. Under the table. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty funny. But there was something about you that I really know something. Mm. Uh, that there's a veil on me that I'm not lifting entirely. Mm. And the flirting was a diversion. Yes. It was a sidetrack, uh -huh. right? Right. But you could see, you know, this is clearly only a segment of this interview, but you could see Carl staying there if it was lunch, through dinner, right. if Whatever necessary. Whatever it took to get some you tidbit, know, something. Yeah, and kind of, you know, the questions which are in the air is, you know, what was Trump up to? I'm, I'm sorry, wrong character. Yeah. What was Nixon up to? What was Howard Hunt up to? Uh, did 
Howard Hunt have any authority? What was his authority? What? Well, I, you know, I, I recall that, um, it's only 40 something years ago, uh, that uh, um, one of my lines, the White House was real paranoid about Teddy Kennedy. That was toward the end of this, that was toward the very end of the scene. And so because of that paranoia, Howard Hunt was tasked with digging, digging around. Right. See if he could find anything, you know, interesting on, on Kennedy for Nixon. Did you feel that what, I'm setting aside the footsie, <laughs> that what he was doing was persuasive and inviting? Did you kind of, oh, I could see how this would work if I knew something. Uh, you know something? I would like to credit myself with having that many thoughts in my head while I was playing it, but uh, I was concentrating so hard on sticking with this actor, you know, and being present with him and fulfilling my, my, what my role was. I didn't have, you know, you try to kind of go with a flow and I didn't have a lot of thinking going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, I knew what my task was. But uh, I wasn't, I was kind of going along with, with the flirting. Meanwhile, like you say, I did have something underneath. And really all I had was that Kennedy tidbit. But see, it, it stayed in the movie. Yeah. It was in the movie. Mm -hmm. And so what was Pakula saying by including that in the movie? I think the scene that follows that was... Um, Bob and Dustin doing some investigating about, you know, I bet you've seen the movie more recently than I have. I've certainly seen it several times, but mm -hmm. um, they, some, they followed that road a little bit and it led to another mm -hmm. piece. But see, that's why I thought it was so important. What Pakula is saying is this is part of the legitimate process of uncovering something big. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah. chiseling and away. And it, it's not all in underground garages or going to people's houses. It's kind of part of it's out in the open. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. And this is, and so you have seen, 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 and there, it, it, it was never dismissive of human interaction right. as a road to disclosure. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, that's, that's, that's got so to be, as you know, a reporter's you? tool. How much did they pay you? Oh, I pay, I, it was my first movie. I got a day, I was a day player. Uh, I, so I got scale, what was then scale. I might have gotten, it might have been 700 something dollars. Scale has changed a bit <laughs> since what then. What is it now? I th it's you know it's not much it's not much higher. Screen Actors Guild is <laughs> not well, known for it's it's a little over a thousand for a day player. And that's really after all those I know. forty-five years. I know. Or, please don't get me started. <laughs> oh really? Do you still do it? <laughs> oh, I, I still do it. I still do it when they let me. How often do you? Well, it you know again when I mean I did a little job. Uh, uh, couple months ago and I worked a day on something and I got paid a thousand something so that was scale and uh, yeah it's, it's not it's not a living you don't get points <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you get points for being like, a good sport and doing yeah. it yeah so Hoffman <laughs> got points oh yeah yeah of course, and, of course well in the residuals over the years I've made back my salary several times you know, I oh, mean. Oh, oh, they give you residuals yeah, uh -huh. for all the president's money. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh. sometimes, well, sometimes the checks are, you know, five cents. But, you know, as the years go by, they get less and less and less. But uh, <laughs> every time it's on TV, every time it's on cable, you know, streaming services and stuff like that. What did you think of Nixon? What did they think of Nixon? At the time. At the time, um... He was not my favorite, and my dad was a congressman, and uh, and he was a actually a Democratic congressman. He well, he was a Republican at the time, but after Watergate, he jumped ship and became a Democrat. Ah, because of you? Oh no, not because of me. Okay. I think because of it had to do with Nixon and just uh -huh. kind of disgusted 
the party. Yeah. And, and he, I don't think he was getting a lot of, he was a moderate. He was one of those guys who worked both sides of the aisle, which you don't see and much And his anymore. name was from what district? New York, uh, Upper Bronx, Lower Westchester. Uh, and his name? Peter Pizer. Spelled? P-E-Y-S-E-R. Uh, Congressman okay. Peter Pizer. He remember. served five terms. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. so he was, uh, I actually almost didn't get the role because uh, when I met Bob Redford, as I was leaving after my audition, I shook hands with him and I was, of course, also stupefied to be meeting Bob Redford. Uh, and I shook his hand and he said, oh, what a firm handshake. And Alan Pakula said, oh, her, you know, her dad's a congressman, so, you know, <laughs> that's how she was raised. And I walked away, I said, nice to meet you, and I walked away, and I heard this story later from the casting director. Bob turned to Alan and said, I don't like her. And Alan goes, what, what's the matter? What don't you like? He goes, she's, she's not an actress. She, she's a congressman's daughter. I, I don't, and, and Alan goes, calm down. He goes, Dustin and I just read her. She's, I think she's really right. She, she's really good. She's, you know, starring in an off-Broadway play right now. She is an actress. Her dad just happens to be a kind of, you know, kind of calmed down, but he was so concerned about the integrity of his film. He didn't want it like some, some daughter, you know, getting in the movie. So, you know, Redford suspicious of everyone, even himself. <laughs> <gasps> Am I? Funny. Have I got the proper motive here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. An interesting piece of history. I remember because you were wearing a wonderful green print That was dress. my personal dress. I can't Is believe you right? remember that. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. that was my own personal $25 from some th someplace dress. Yeah. It's good. Well, it's, uh, it's all pieces of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. huh? And the puzzle... The puzzle about Nixon does not continue because the tapes answered oh, yeah. all of that. I mean, he buried himself in history. Oh, yeah. He lost his war with history because yeah. of those tapes. I, when my dad went, you know, as a member of Congress, he was allowed to go listen, and he was just, he told us, you know, his family, he just said he was just so shocked to hear the language and just to hear, he just was like, it just destroyed him to hear the president talking that way. Uh, the, the language and the attitude, but also the criminality. Yeah. Oh, Stonewall, yeah. you know, Stonewall, lie to the grand jury, lie to the grand jury. <laughs> That's what the president I mean, said. Uh, yeah. uh, okay. Anything else? Uh, I just want to, your, your partner came to the set the day we shot. Uh, it was the third anniversary of the break-in the day I was working, huh. in 75. And, um, and Dustin was still kind of boning up on his character, and he and Carl went for a walk, and I saw Dustin kind of working on getting his walk down, and that, which was very interesting <laughs> for me as an actor to watch him, you know, kind of imitating Carl's body language. And then also I noticed... Uh, uh, because I guess Carl was a smoker at the time, right? So, and I guess it was Marlboros. Did he smoke Marlboros? No, Carl smoked anything he could get. His oh, okay. Hands on. Well, I know. Well, at the, at, during our scene, Dustin had a pack of. I thought I'm remembering it as Marlboros, but whatever it was. But I noticed that Dustin had Vantage cigarettes inside the Marlboro pack, and I commented on that. I said, "What's?" I said, "What's the deal? You've got you know different kind of cigarette in the Mar." And he goes, "Oh, you're very observant." Uh, he goes, well, Carl smokes these. I, that's what he said at the time. Maybe that's not. Yeah. But, you know, Carl smokes these, but this is what I smoke. Hmm. Okay. Well, good luck to you and well, your husband. Well, thank you. It's such an honor thank to you. meet you. Well, it's great to see you and meet you. And uh, he knows how to interrogate. I'll tell you. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, so do you, don't you? Still here or have you gone? <laughs>